Assalamu alaikum. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome to our channel, English SPAG. Today, we are diving into a subtle distinction between two commonly used words and speak and talk. So, while these words are often uh, used interchangeably, so we have to know just their ways how to use them and which place uh, they have to be placed and they have to be used. So, of course, they both are same with the same meaning, but we are here to explore their differences and learn how to use them effectively according to structure in various contexts. The first number, I should tell you that uh, this question is uh, spinning in many minds. I know that. And of course, you're waiting for this video for a long time. So let's start and solve this question. <clears throat> Speak and talk are both verbs to involve in the use of words to communicate, but they are employed in different ways. Of course, if they were not used in different ways, so why they are made uh, like speak and talk? They must have differences and the usage. But I have told you before that they both are interchangeably. Means they can be used instead of each other. They can be used like without any problem. According to grammar, they have a little difference and it can be pointed out here. Speak is more formal and straightforward term. It is often used to refer to the act of expressing thought or ideas through words with an emphasis on the act of uttering words. And simple way I have to tell you that speak focus on the person who is speaking. For example, I'm speaking right now, so I'm the person who is producing words right now, so I have to use for myself speak not talk okay this is a formal way to use speak word uh, for me right now because I'm producing words and I'm producing like uh, talking here today when we say I need to speak with you about the project we imply a more serious a formal conversation this is the first thing that speak is used for the person who is producing words and there are many more differences of speak with the talk. Talk can be used for everyone. Like he's, he talks, she talks, I talk, like for everyone. But speak is specifically used for the person who is producing words. <clears throat> now let's shift our focus to talk. Unlike speak, Talk is a bit more casual and implies a more conversational uh, setting or talking. Speak can be used for individual person like he is speaking, I'm speaking, they are speaking. It can be used for a group individually, for a person individually. It can be used for a person, okay, specifically. And simple way, talks can be used for discussion, like conversation. Log, uh, like these kind of things, it can be used. But speak can be used for individually things. For example, if I say here, let's talk about your weekend plans. Let's talk about, like means I will also talk, you will also talk, the other person will also talk. So it means that it will refer and point out a kind of conversational meeting or discussion. Okay, it can be used for that thing. Uh, additionally, uh, talk is commonly used in everyday situation where people engage in dialogue, sharing ideas, simply chatting with one another. That's the thing that I've told before, that um, talk can be used for, like, simply everyday uh, people are talking, like uh, students are discussing um, a topic or teachers are having a meeting. Okay, they are uh, like they are in need of 
different kind of ideas from one another. So we use uh, talk. Understanding when to use, speak and talk can significantly enhance your communication skills. It is not important that you have to use, and you must use uh, speak at the place of uh, talk and talk you have to use in the place of speak. They can be interchangeable, but it's up to you if you want to use speak in the place of talk or like it's up to you. It depends on you. But I'm telling you that if you want to use according to grammar and uh, like very pure English, so even the native speakers are not even using speak and stuff like these things. They're just using. They are just like conveying the message to other people. They don't even know that uh, speak is used instead of the talk. They're just using. Okay. Um, maybe if they're using, but if you ask them that why do you use speak here? Why do you use here talk? But they don't have any evidence, any proof for that, any answer for that. So speak and talk, if you learn how to use them in their own places, in their time, your communication will be more verbal and more grounded. The choice between them depends on the tone, formality, and context of the conversation. The thing that I've told you, like it's very formal and polite to use speak word instead of the talk word, okay? And also it depends on very friendly conversation. If you're talking about the, uh, if you're talking with the strangers, uh, the people who are not familiar to you, and they tell me you can use speak uh, for them, don't use talk. For example, talk to me, okay? Talk to me. Talk to me is not wrong, but if you say speak to me, it will be more amazing. Like speak, I know that it seems a little bit uh, unfamiliar word to you because you're always saying talk to me. And talk to me is the uh, sentence or is imperative sentence that we usually use for the friends or for the people who know already. So that was a great today's uh, exploration um, speak and talk. So if you find this video helpful, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe as always. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy communicating. Thank you.